Hi class, we're in section 6.3, Translational Equilibrium, and this is question number 36. Um, I love these. They, it looks so scary that you have a foot in a cast, but I really like them. If you've got a weight pulling on one and you've got a pulley off the bottom of his foot, what do you think is happening in the tension? Is the 250 only in T2 and nothing in T1? Is there no tension in T1? You see that his foot would fall if it wasn't uh, connected to the ceiling, it would fall. So when you split it on that pulley, it's gonna divide the tension in half. And so both of the tensions will be the same, all right? So if I've got 60 degrees between, then I'm gonna end up with a straight angle here, okay? So this is 180 across, so this is gonna be 60. This will be 60, and there's 60 here. And so it means I've got a triangle, okay? Let me, I can draw it here, but it's, it's some of it's going down and out. So let me do it this way. Okay, do you see that this is this, all right? So this is gonna be T1, and T1 and T2 are gonna be equal to each other. All right, so it's the same tension. I'm just gonna double it when I get to the end. So what cancels? This is going to be, here is your angle 60, right here is your angle 60. So this is gonna be sine. This is gonna be cosine. Cosine will cancel with each other. This is, this is going up. This is the tension of the string. Here's the other tension of the string. And then here's the force on your leg. Hopefully it's, your leg is not gonna pop off, it'd be awful, um, and it's coming back. So these, are, these two tensions are gonna go in this direction and your force of your bone is gonna go back in the other direction. That means that I want T times the sine of 60 to be here and then I'm gonna double it. Okay, so I want two times the uh, T, two times t times the sine of 60. Well, what is t? t is gonna be half of this m plus g times g, okay? So I'm gonna say half of the 250, so I've got Fifty times nine point eight one. Okay, so I have twenty four point five newtons. Okay, so twenty four. This is going T is going to be twenty four point five. Didn't do it right. 24.5 newtons is T times the sine of 60 on both sides. All right, so I, I have all the parts, right? So the force on the leg is going to be equal to 2, since there's two of these, times 24.5 times the sine of 60 degrees equals, it looks like I have three significant digits here. 24.5 times 2 times a sine of 60. And this is going to give me 42.4 newtons. Okay, so the force, the force on the leg is 42.4 newtons this way. This is 42.4 newtons. Okay, thank you.